There are so many things you can do with strawberries to help support the gut, and we're gonna talk about it today. Went to the grocery store and strawberries were on sale, and strawberries are so good for you if they're organic and grown properly. And so I wanted to share with you what I did with the abundance of strawberries. If organic strawberries are on sale, I stock up. Here, they're typically $6.99 for 16 ounces. I'm just not gonna pay that, which if you think about all the things you pay for, it's kind of stupid that you don't. Like I have tried to stop paying $6 for coffee and drink it at home. Go me. You know, as we evaluate what we're willing to pay for and you think about, well, you're willing to do something stupid over here. I'm trying to evaluate that in all areas of my life. I stock up on strawberries when they are on sale. You definitely want to get organic because strawberries are heavily sprayed with chemicals that are very harmfully impactful for our hormones and for our harm. <laughs> For our hormones, I can't talk. I'm growing organic strawberries. I'll get like two, and then a week later I get two more. It's a blessing, and half the time I save them for my grandbaby when she comes over because she loves to pick them and eat them. And eventually, you know, they'll produce, but they take time, and I haven't had them that long. So this is what I do with an abundance of strawberries, and then I have them stored up in the winter when they're not in season. I love this strawberry chia jam and I have another video full tutorial on that. And so I will make my strawberry chia jam because it is excellent for the gut and it tastes delicious. I can replace my jelly with this. I love it on my toast. I love it on top of my yogurt. I love it on top of my granola. I love to make like a parfait with my chia pudding and I have a few different chia pudding recipes on my website that you can see. My chia isn't beautiful because it is sweetened with bananas and that kind of changes that tone so it's not that. I love it when you see chia pudding and it's like white with the little dark specks. Like to me that just looks so clean and fresh. I don't know why it's kind of weird isn't it? But mine doesn't ever look like that because I add a little bit of vanilla and I'm going after the flavor. So what if it looks weird? It, it does. It looks kind of weird and dark, right? But it tastes delicious. And then I like to top it with berries because berries are so impactful, full of antioxidants, full of vitamins, a little bit of fiber. And I also love to make the coconut whip. And that is super simple. And I have recipes on my website and I also have tutorials for those as well. I sometimes will just take the strawberries and cover them in the whip and that is dessert. It's like it's just enough to satisfy my craving and off to bed I go and drift into an amazing sleep. Sometimes if I forgot to put my can of coconut milk in the refrigerator, I will use organic heavy whipping cream and that is truly a dream. Another thing that I do is I will flash freeze my strawberries so that I can freeze them. And the reason why you wanna flash freeze is because then they are individually frozen. So you can just pull out what you need to put in your smoothie and they're not sticking together like a big hard rock. And so I just rinse them off. I paper towel them dry. I lay them out on parchment paper on a cookie sheet and I put them in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour. Throw them in a Ziploc bag and now you have got frozen strawberries that last a really, really long time. And another thing is I like to just eat them by themselves. So much value is just popping a strawberry in and chewing up that amazing nutrients wins, you know, this race towards optimal health. And strawberries are a great way to get in more nutrients. Last but definitely not least, I want to share this delicious strawberry ice cream with you. I first start by chopping strawberries about one and a half cups. And then I add three fourths cups. I am using coconut milk. You can use milk of choice. I used about a half a cup of maple syrup, a pinch of salt, one and a half cups of Organic Valley heavy cream. And then I just poured in some pure vanilla extract. Throw in your strawberries and I put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, then pour it into the Cuisinart, and I highly recommend 
this ice cream maker. It is so simple and it only took about 25 minutes. And now we get to enjoy this delicious, healthy ice cream. I topped mine with walnuts and cacao nibs. Delicious. And my mom agreed. I hope you've enjoyed this tip. And if you would please leave some tips in the comments, we all need to be sharing amazing ideas on how to gain health. As a nutrition and wellness coach, guys, I have people come to me in major dysfunction and it's not fun climbing out of that slowly but surely they heal their bodies but how nice would it be to not get there right let me know what you're doing to prepare to save money all those amazing things that's what we're here for and you guys have a great day